Howdy folks, if you're anything like me, you're wondering, how am I gonna eventually show up in these chat search engines? What's that like? Um, so I wanna share with you some of the early things that I'm thinking about on how, how you can start to even just think about how to end up in these places. So first of all, what sparked this is, I see um, Bing came out with some research that showed what they're seeing early days when people use chat versus when people use search and what those queries actually look like, okay? So now we know it's, you know, chat is better when people don't know what they want, all right? And they're trying to figure it out. So what we decided to do, because we've got millions and millions of questions stored in our data platform, Supernova, we pulled it down and we ran 10,000 uh, search terms through a Python script and then we asked ChatGPT uh, to give us answers. And then from those answers, we said, hmm, what are the words that are typically used when ChatGPT cites a potential reference? According to, as referenced by, whatever. So we came up with a list of those and only got uh, a list of, of results that included those kinds of trigger words that would help us to know that they are referencing a source. Because maybe in the future, that's where I've got to get my brand mentioned to show up in more answers. That's where we're going. So you're already seeing a little thing I got up here for GPT for Sheets. So if you take a bunch of people also ask questions and drop them in, you can actually use GPT for Sheets. Great tool. Great, 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 great tool. And then you can put those questions in here. And then literally, folks, you can see my formula. There we go. Um, you can see my formula. It's just GPT bracket A1, and then it just runs on this and asks ChatGPT to answer it. I can pick my different models and whatnot. And based on that, it will give me the answer. So now I'm getting all of my, uh, according to, according to the National Highway Traffic, Traffic Safety Admission, Administration, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So now that I've got those, let me just show you a few advanced ways to try to, try to trick ChatGPT into giving you um, which publications you might want to start trying to get mentioned in more uh, when you're, if you think that there's some legs here. Now, there might be some hallucination going on with some of the publications, but to be honest, I'm finding ChatGPT does not hallucinate um, as much for the kind of queries that I'm doing as BARD. And also, I'm just trying to nudge it a bit, all right? So I said, um, I like when you use the phrase according to and list a publication. I'm gonna give you a question, can you repeat the pattern? So I go, what is the best forensic science program in Texas? And it gives me according to US News and World Report. Great, but then I said, give me two sources after according to, please. And it gives me a long explanation about why. It's like, I'm not so sure about that, but it did ultimately give me US News, World Report, and ForensicColleges.com. So what I did is I took all of those answers that we got back in here, with all the according to's and the different trigger words that showed me there might be a publication, and I asked ChatGPT to basically sum up across all of them, all the different publications. So now I know which kind of publications might be the ones that I might wanna consider trying to get my brand listed in more and more. And just as a reminder, um, Washington Post has this tool that basically lets you check to see different websites just to see if they were part of the common crawl, which is one of the early, early, early data sets used to train some of these tools. All right, I'm a little over three minutes. I'm trying to keep these things short. Hope this helps you guys. I would love for you in the comments to kind of tell me a little bit about the methodology. What do you think? How would you improve it? Because we're all gonna make each other better at this thing. Uh, so I appreciate uh, any feedback on how I can make it a little bit better. Thanks.